Hi and welcome to Kitchen Pong. So I'm Julian and I'm going to be showing you how to play table tennis or ping pong on your kitchen table. This is the cork net. The idea of the cork net is that it lives in your kitchen and it's already there waiting for you to have a game of table tennis or ping pong. So the idea of this uh, product is that you can leave it on your kitchen table as it is here and use it to put your hot pots and pans on whilst you're having dinner with your friends, family and then after dinner you clear away the table set it across your table the ball is always stored inside the two pieces see those two little holes there you just set it across your table and you're ready to have a game of table tennis history of table tennis started off on a dining room table and this is sort of going back to its roots. Back then when it was first invented by some British army officers in India, they found it too hot to go outside and play tennis. So they went inside, put some books across their dining room table, made some balls out of cork, like I made here. I'll put some pictures of how I did it online as well. This one's made from three corks, so it's almost the size that we use today. That's 40 mil ball and that's getting close to 38 or 36 and it bounces quite unevenly but yeah, it'd be pretty fun to play with them so we'll try them a bit later and these are the the bats that I made from a uh, old cigar box that I had um, yeah, so it's just using the lid in the bottom and then the handles I actually made from the uh, from the sides of the box put together and there you have it to old-fashioned table tennis rackets. Let me show you how to get started. So, the basics. What you're gonna need? You're gonna need your racket, your net. In this case, I'm using a cork net, but if you don't have a cork net, you can use some books, old VHS, uh, cassettes, or anything you can find to put across your table. The other thing you need is balls. Um, as many as you can find, ideally. So. Basics is the grip. The most popular is the shake hand grip, which is you hold the racket so it's right down in line with your with your arm and it's equal between your, your thumb and your index finger there. And that's how you hold it. Uh, so yeah, so with the serve you have to make it hit this side of the table to hit that side of the table. So let's go for it. To get a faster shot, you want to hit the ball lower and get it as low over the net as possible. That will mean that you can get more speed on the ball and make it difficult to return. So if we get a bit lower, throw the ball up and hit it harder and lower over, over the net. So just a basic push, push the ball, getting it as low across the net as possible. You'll notice that I've got the plant pot still on my table. Think of it as a target. So I'm going to move this to a point and then continue to serve, work on my accuracy hitting the plant pot. Just play about with trying to use whichever object you have on your kitchen table move it around your table and practice serving and hitting that object to improve your accuracy. So the tip for today is thinking about your own table. The main thing about my table is the there's a gap where the two points meet and if you manage to hit the ball to hit that, the ball changes direction on this table it actually bounces up higher. So if, you're if your opponent's expecting a lower ball and it hits this, it goes up and then they miss it, which is a pretty pretty good trick shot. So that's all today from Kitchen Pong. I hope to see you next time or just click on the link and follow me and see whatever videos there are available right now.